All right, my friends, how are you today? Aaron here bringing you your daily horoscope for Monday, the 18th of May, 2020. <sighs> We've got a beautiful day ahead of us. We've got the moon moving to the middle degrees of Aries, okay? This is all about a need of taking the initiative, okay? This is a need to be proactive. This is a need for us to recognize our, our own self-fire and to be the one, again, taking the initiative on our own life's journey, creating purpose in our life, not waiting for someone else to say, hey, I see you could do this, or you're really good at this and you should follow this. This is us recognizing and turning the light switch on for ourselves. As well with going in there and saying, turning the light switch on, it's an understanding of the light and the dark. This is the last couple of days of the moon or the sun in Taurus. Okay, it's at 28 degrees of Taurus right now, which is what about stability? All right, let me show you the chart. So here's the sun at 28 degrees Taurus. The moon freshly conjunct Chiron here at about 2 a.m. All right, so that's something that we felt on Sunday leading into Monday. So this Monday, there's always going to be after this conjunction, a new sense of release, a new sense of uh, a deeper understanding. Okay, and that's what the sun wants to talk to us about is something between knowing and understanding. Okay, it's knowing that seeing the iceberg, okay, is just the tip. And it's understanding that there is a you know, 90% uh, of that iceberg is underneath. So just like Taurus here is the surface. Okay, it's shadow, it's opposite is going to be here, Scorpio, right? Beneath the surface. So here it's, we see the beautiful flowers. Okay, here we see the beautiful trees. All right, understanding and knowing that these beautiful flowers have this underneath, okay? This deep rooted system that it's the dirt, it's the mud, it's the water, it's the manure that adds the fragrance to the rose that we see, okay? So these last couple of days here of the sun being in Taurus, it wants us to understand the relationship between the surface and the shadow. Our own surface and our own shadow, we cannot have one without the other, right? And we also have this little... Uh, Septile happening here to the sun and to Chiron, okay, as well as we have Chiron or uh, Uranus and the north node here. Uh, again, that's energy I've been talking about now for a couple of days. Uh, breakthroughs and being, you know, our own investigator, figuring out our life's purpose, figuring out answers and what works best for us. Again, there's going to be books on everything. There's, you know, and, and the funny thing is, is there can be so much contradictory, you know, on... on one hand of, of, of very intelligent, well-written books and people, you know, they're going to tell you that this is going to be the ultimate truth. And this is how you succeed in life. And, and you know, there, there are things I've read about individuals that have their days marked every 15 minutes, exactly understanding and knowing what they're going to be doing every 15 minutes. And this is a quote unquote, you know, concept of how a successful person should live their lives. And on the other hand, you have individuals very free spirited that refuse to have a, a schedule so confined like that, yet are extremely, extremely successful uh, entrepreneurs and individuals. Okay, so there's going to be different methods for achieving success. There's going to be different methods for achieving self-happiness or, or love, okay? Anything across the board. And there's going to be, again, multiple people, multiple angles of how you as an individual are going to reach this, achieve this goal, achieve this love, achieve this career, this job path, achieve this personal happiness. Yet at the same time, it's unique into us own, you know, uh, it's the eye of the beholder. 
what you love, what makes you happy. Now, a lot of these, you know, books and things like this, uh, YouTube videos, whatever, this knowledge is useful, but at the same time, it has to be us taking the initiative, the moon over in Aries, taking the initiative, uh, embarking on our personal journey, understanding what works for us, uh, knowing ourself, the surface and the shadow, right? That means and, it, uh, you know, it, it's hard enough to have a relationship with ourselves and to maintain happiness on an individual basis without, you know, the roller coaster of emotions, right? And we have a Venus retrograde going on right now, which deals much with the other. And we're looking at life, we're looking at a deeper understanding of ourselves and having, a, 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 again, knowledge to understanding. I, I know E equals MC squared, but do I understand exactly what that means? I, I know the law of attraction, but do I truly understand that my thoughts are magnetic? Uh, and attracting and manifesting, you know, what I hold in my head, I hold in my hand, right? So our deeper understanding of these things beyond knowledge itself is what's going to truly blossom, okay? Um, so that's a good chunk of our day here. Let me come back to the chart. Uh, we want to get a better understanding, of ourselves, of our lives, of our relationships, right? Again, it's difficult to have a relationship with ourselves and be our own supporter, our own cheerleader, uh, get out of bed every single day and, and hoorah, hip, hey, whatever, you know. Um, so when we get into romantic partnerships, relationships, or business partners, uh, any sort of a partnership, any sort of relationship with the other, right? Now, for some reason, we have these concepts that it's the other person that's supposed to make me happy. It's my boss that's supposed to constantly uh, uh, be acknowledging of every time I've done something good and throw me, you know, throw a dog a bone at a boys, at a girls and, and acknowledging, you know, it's just like, well, again, we have to be our own self cheerleader. And that in and of itself is difficult all the time. So when we expect this from other people, you know, then our motivation sometimes goes down and says, well, I'm not being acknowledged for all that I am, all that I'm giving, all that I'm doing. I'm going to give less. I'm going to do less. Uh, and then if they acknowledge that I'm doing less, why aren't they acknowledged that I'm doing more? Something like this, you know, and again, Mars also being up here in this place of completion and in a sweet place, um, a loving place, uh, you know, it, it's it's putting down that battle axe, putting down our warrior uh, suit, kind of coming into a bit of rest, again, a bit of completion. So we're not going to have our guards up as much uh, during this retrograde cycle and during this deepening of our understanding. We're not ready to go to battle right now. We're ready to learn on what we need to succeed as individuals. Okay. And as an individual, what I need, and then it, the you know, process continues as we move forward throughout this year, is how how am I going to, uh, as an individual, succeed into deepening my understanding, deepening my knowing, deepening my, my realization of the surface and of the shadow to better my relationship with myself and with the other, and not hold the other person accountable, the other thing accountable for my well-being of happiness. Okay, so that is our Monday in a nutshell. Uh, we do have a lot of planets retrograde right now, Venus retrograde. We've got Saturn moving back into Capricorn here. We've got Jupiter and Pluto all retrograde. These are our outermost planets and one of our innermost planets. All right, so we're definitely going to start feeling this, this re-evaluating of what's going on, re-evaluating our daily lives, re-evaluating our daily practices, re-evaluating our outlook on the future. What do we want to create? Understanding a deeper understanding of myself, of my shadow, of the tip of the iceberg, of everything that's going on underneath, of the surface, um, and beyond, right? And doing this helps me on an individual way as well as the whole all right my friends so that is our monday in a nutshell have a beautiful day 
exploring, learning greater depths of ourselves and our journey, deepening our understanding of our shadow and what is on the surface and what is beneath. All right. Happy Monday. Thank you as always. We'll see you tomorrow.